Yo, what up, my name is Derek, in today's video, I'm talking about the best custom Windows 11 ISO there is currently out there. Now, the reason why I say currently out there is because I only tested two. I know there's like probably like four or five out there. Uh, the reason why I only tested two is because um, two of them are from the previous Windows 10 that I did, so Revision and Nexus Light OS are the two that I use. I did try to do use Ghost Spectre, had problems with it, so I just said, screw it, I'm just going to do these two. I wanted to do more. But currently there isn't a lot out there because Windows 11 is not better than Windows 10. It just hasn't been. Um, it's newer. It's not going to have better latency, FPS. It's just a given. Um, you will see people on YouTube that will tell you, your performance is better on Windows 11 than Windows 10. It's That's not true at all. It's just not. I'm sorry. Um, but just keep that in mind. The Windows 10 ones are super good. Just stick with Windows 10 unless you want to use Windows 11. But a lot of people ask me about Windows 11, so I'm going to talk about it. Currently on Windows 10 right here, but I will test, like I said, I have revision and Nexus Light OS. We'll talk about those in a second. Before the video starts, I want to say, please hit that like button. It really does help. And please subscribe. Um, just, you guys don't even know how much this actually motivates me. The more likes and the more subscribers I get, it, it really does motivate me. And if you play Fortnite by chance, use my code. If you want to use my code, you don't have to. Just to, just if you want to support me with my code, my code is Derek, D-E-R-E-K. It's also my channel art, and it should be in the description. So just use that if you want to use it. Just a little plug there. But let's get into this. So processes, it's going to be self-explanatory. Your process is going to be way lower. If you use Windows 11, just like a straight Windows 11 that's bloated, you'll probably hit like 150. These are 47 and 56. Give or take up and down, probably 5 or 6, depending on um, things that are on your computer or whatnot. And then also... Um, once you start installing stuff on your computer, this, these numbers will go up. That's just common knowledge. Um, if you look at my GGOS, currently I have about 92 processes. And I have like OBS, Epic Games, Spotify, Steam, and Firefox. Like I have a ton of browsers. I have a ton of stuff on my computer. 92, is that it? That's all I get. I'm not at 150. If I had a regular Windows 10 and Windows 11 and I had all these programs, I'd be at like 200. So this is always really good to see low process numbers. Um, the more de-bloated it is, the better usually. RAM uses, this is impor pretty important for people that have maybe laptops or eight gigabytes of RAM, or if you have four gigabytes of RAM, I'd also, I have always re recommended to get like 16, um, just because it's always better to have more and, and, and better to have faster memory as well. But, uh, these are the two here. Nexus had one, Revi had 1.1, give or take about a hundred or so megabytes here and there. Um, just, you know, based on what programs are installed. Like I said, these are literally tests from as soon as I installed it. I didn't even install. I, all only thing I did was install my uh, graphics driver, and then these are the numbers are, so just keep that in mind. Latency. So for latency, I did use Ava's power plan because in my opinion, Ava's got the lowest latency when it comes to power plans. I've tested on a bunch of ISOs, and it always has lower latency than the power plans that are with these builds. Now, Depending on which one you use, I mean, it could have been lower. I didn't test with Revi's bare bone, or actually, I don't think Revi has an ISO, or not an ISO, a power plant. I think it had ultimate performance. Nexus did have one, but I just used Ava on both just so I have a comp uh, a comparison with the same power plants. Um, as you can see, the numbers are pretty similar. Um, it's kind of weird because you get lower uh, process latency on Revi, but higher DPC than Nexus, and then Nexus has higher process latency. It's kind of weird there. But these numbers are nowhere close to what numbers are with like GGOS currently with I'm, what I'm in or even Ava or Fox OS or anything. So I'd still recommend to use a Windows 10 build because you're always going to have lower latency than this. And you're definitely going to notice the difference. You 100% can notice the difference. Now let's get into the Fortnite FPS test. I tested 1080p low settings on the bench primer that I've always used on all my videos. And you can see the numbers are actually pretty drastic um, when it comes to average FPS, 153.6 with Nexus, 141.6 with Revi. Um, so Nexus has better performance. Now, one thing I will say is Nexus, the build pretty much doesn't even look like Windows 11. Um, your task manager doesn't really look like task manager of Windows 11 at all, or not task manager, task bar. Um, nothing looks like Windows 11 on Nexus Light OS, I do want to say that. Uh, Revi, though, does look like Windows 11. It's got the uh, center taskbar. It's got the uh, the start menu that Windows 11 has. 
Uh, everything's pretty much Windows 11 on Revi. Nexus OS is literally like a Windows 10, but on Windows 11, pretty much. So keep that in mind. Um, but you can see the FPS is way better on Nexus. I still would recommend just go, just stick with Windows 10, at least for maybe another year or so. Or unless it gets forced on you or you just like the way it looks. If you like the way it looks, just get a dual boot. And if you don't play games on it, then just download it for a dual boot and use it as your main thing. And then just have another boot for like with Ada, Ava or GGOS and use it to play Fortnite or Valorant. Use that. I have a video on my channel talking about dual boot. If you want to use that, you definitely can. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, like I said, I've said this so many times during this video. I don't recommend a Windows 11 build unless you really, really want it. Um, I think you should just stick with Windows 10. It's the best one out there currently. Or it's, the, it's better than Windows 11. And there's a ton of ISOs for Windows 10, so just keep that in mind. Now, before this video ends, I do want to say my plan in the future for these type of videos, I'm going to make another Windows 10 benchmark video. Something like kind of like this, or kind of like my old videos that I've made, the big ones. And I'm going to test things like uh, Unicorn OS, Kernel OS, GGOS, Ava, um, Fox OS, and Revi. I'll test all of those in one video again because those are the best ones that I've found. People have told me those are the best ones. And we're going to do the final comparison between all of them. It's going to be the final video. I'm never going to, I'm not going to do another video. My plan after that, or whenever that video goes up, I don't know if that could be next week. Maybe we'll see. But my plan is to do individual ISO reviews. Do you guys want an Ava one? The reason why I haven't done an Ava one is because Ava has been down for like two weeks now. That's also why this final Windows 10 custom ISO video is delayed as well for a while until Ava is out there. I don't know why it's what he's doing. I don't know if he's updating or fixing something, which hopefully he does soon because I do want to use that ISO and I do want it to be a little bit better because it wasn't the greatest when it first came out. So hopefully he comes out with that soon. And hopefully it's really, really good. Like I said, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do individual ISO. And then maybe whenever there's a major update for one, maybe I compare the ISOs between the two versions. And also maybe if I maybe I can compare um, things like, f for instance, like uh, Revi has a 1709 build, a 21H1 build, and a Windows 11 build. What I could do is I could make individual videos for each one of them. So Revi 1709, uh, Revi uh, 21H1, and Revi Windows 11, I can make individual videos for each one of those and do a review. If I were to do those, I would probably upload a review a week or two reviews a week, depending. And I uh, would have to see if that is something that you guys like. Let me know in the comments whether or not that's something you guys want to see. Um, because I'm down to make those type of videos. What I will probably do if I do make those videos, I'll just use a virtual machine. I'm not going to, I, well, I probably won't use a virtual machine. We'll see how that works. Um, yeah, I hope this video helped you anyways. I know I rambled for like four or five minutes talking about another type of video, but if you guys wanted the Windows 11 build, I gave you that. I'll put timestamps so you guys can just skip past this, past this if you didn't want to see it. Um, yeah, anyways, hope you guys like this video and uh, peace out.